We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number five. She hates me. She's disappointed. I could see it in her eyes when we met. I've got to stop sweating. Oh, she looked at my hairline. She thinks I'm bald. She's thinking I would never in a million years sleep with this guy. We think you're great. Oh, thanks. Wow, that's that's nice to hear. To begin, coffee would help me think. Coffee and a muffin. I'm going up to Santa Barbara this Saturday, and I I was wondering. Oh. I'm sorry. So I'll just be right back with your pie then. Drum roll, please. I'm gonna be a screenwriter like you. I'm putting in a chase sequence. So the killer flees on horseback, cops after them on a motorcycle. And it's like a battle between motors and horses, like technology versus horse. Susan, we would really like to option this. You want to make it into a movie? I want to know what it feels like to care about something passionately. Don LaRoche is a tall guy, sharply handsome. The book has no story. There's no story. Make one up. OK, we open with LaRoche. No, we open at the beginning of time. OK, we open with LaRoche. Crazy white man. We open on Charlie Kaufman. Fat, bald, ugly, paces. No! I've written myself into my screenplay. That's kind of weird, huh? I guess we thought that maybe Susan and LaRoche could fall in love. I just don't want to ruin it by making it a Hollywood thing. It's like I don't want to cram in sex or guns or car chases or characters overcoming obstacles to succeed in the end. She's crying. What's she hiding from? I think you actually need to speak to this woman to know her. People find love. People lose it. Every day, someone somewhere takes a conscious decision to destroy someone else. Play me. Oh, I, I think I should play me. Under pressure. Under pressure. Number four. You almost died. You have a compound fracture of the tibia in both legs, and the fibula in the right leg is fractured too. And as soon as the roads open, I'll take you to a hospital. In the meantime, you've got a lot of recovering to do. There is nothing to worry about. You're going to be just fine. I'm your number one fan. My name is Annie Wilkes. I think one of my clients, Paul Sheldon, might be in some kind of trouble. You mean Paul Sheldon, the writer? Well, everybody sure likes those misery books. They had it at the store, Paul. They said he checked out last Tuesday. Isn't that a little strange? I guess it was kind of a miracle you finding me. In a way, I was following you. You were following me. Oh, Paul, I've read everything of yours, but the misery novels. You must be a good man, or you could never have created such a wondrous, loving creature as Misery Chastain. Very kind. The presumption must now be that Paul Sheldon is dead. You dirty bird. How could you? Misery Chastain cannot be dead. Misery spirit is still alive. I don't want her spirit! I want her! And you murdered her! You don't think he's dead, do you? And don't even think about anybody coming for you, because I never called them. Nobody knows you're here. And you better hope nothing happens to me. Because if I die, you die. you've been out. Is this what you're looking for? Eventually, you'll come to accept the idea of being here. Annie, whatever you think I'm not doing, please don't do it. Annie, for God's sake. Shh, darling. Trust me. God's sake. It's for the best. God, I love you. Number three. Hello. This is the music editor at Rolling Stone magazine. This is William Miller. 
Yes, it is. I think you should be writing for us. From Cameron Crowe, writer-director of Jerry Maguire. If you're gonna be a true journalist, you cannot make friends with the rock stars. Just make us look cool. God, it's gonna get ugly, man. They're gonna buy you drinks. Don't take drugs! They're gonna fly you places for free. It's Bowie! You're gonna meet girls. We are not groupies. We don't have intercourse with these guys. Just blowjobs, and that's it. Amen! <laughs> On the road with the band. Your mom called! Rock stars have kidnapped my son. Spirits run high. There's acid in the beer that's in the red cups. How do you know when it's kicked in? I am a golden god! Innocence runs wild. Let's deflower the kid. We need this story in four days. Your time has come. And there's more to write home about. Can I speak with William, please? Is this Marianne with the pot? Then the music. What do you love about music to begin with? Everything. It's so easy to slip. It's so easy We're gonna die. die. Something should happen. Maybe I never said this enough. I love all of you. I slept with Marta Dick. I did too. Me too. Don't you have any regular friends? Famous people are just more interesting. Number two. I know there's things you cannot tell me. But I also know there's a story here, and I think everybody will hear about it. Do you think your paper has the resources to take that on? I do. Do you? The Boston priests molested kids in six different parishes over the last 30 years. The church found out about it and did nothing. We haven't committed any long-term investigative resources to the case. No, we haven't. And that's the kind of thing your team would do. Spotlight. Guys, listen. Everybody's gonna be interested in this. Obviously, the church will fight us very hard. I'm trying to get some background information. I don't want you recording this in any way, shape, or form. Nothing. We understand you've settled several cases against the church. I can't discuss that. There aren't any records of any of these settlements. Nope. When you're a poor kid from a poor family, and when a priest pays attention to you, it's a big deal. How do you say no to God? Spotlight. This is the tip line. You think he's got something? I want to keep digging. We need to focus on the institution. Show me that it came from the top down. They'll try to silence anyone who speaks out. You leave me alone, you hear me, goddammit? 6% act out sexually. 6% is 90. 90 priests. If there were 90 of these bastards, people would know. Maybe they do. You're going to give me the names and the names of their victims. Are you threatening me? I was doing my job. Yeah, you and everyone else. I am here because I care. We're going to tell this story. We're going to tell it right. I can't believe it. I'm hoping we can keep this between us until we all get on the same page. Is that why we're here, to get on the same page? We've got two stories here. A story about degenerate clergy, and a story about a bunch of lawyers turning child abuse into a cottage industry. Which story do you want us to write? Because we're writing one of them. I'm not crazy. They control everything. This is not just Boston. It's a whole country. It's a whole world. They knew! It could have been you. It could have been me. It could have been any of us. Number one. I don't suppose they uh, told you anything in Denver about the tragedy we had up here during the winter of 1970. I heard a man named Charles Grady is the winter caretaker. So from what I've been told, I mean, he seemed like a completely normal individual. But at some point, during the winter, he must have suffered some kind of a complete mental breakdown. He ran amok and uh, killed his family. Well, you can rest assured, Mr. Ullman, that's not going to happen with me. <laughs> that's right. Mom, do you really want to go and live in that hotel for the winter? Sure I do. 
It'll be lots of fun. The only thing that can get a bit trying up here during the winter is a tremendous sense of isolation. Is there something bad here? I fear you will have to deal with this matter in the harshest possible way. What did I do that I, that I killed you with Manny? You did this to me! Didn't you? I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. And for more top 5 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.